and recording. So, uh, about two, three weeks ago, I reacted to a band called Watain, a song called The Wild Hunt. And it kind of like blew my mind. It's uh, like a black metal, death metal kind of thing, but it was very, very subdued. And um, yeah, yeah, it uh, got me into a nice trance. I think the lead singer actually had like an altar um, on the stage and they did some kind of like uh, like a like a ritual and it just looked really cool it sounded really good and I just enjoyed the hell out of it so I actually had a suggestion from a guy by the name of Joaquim um, to do a song called Waters of Ain the live version from 2012 which I actually have queued up right here on YouTube Looks like this was in Denver. 13, almost 14 minute song. I'm all about it. Got a nice Shiraz going, which should fit in the uh, sort of blood mood that this should put me in. And go. Ooh. Like the chord choices already. gonna try not to pause it too many times because it's a long song like 14 minutes so I like the sort of atmospheric sound from the beginning the kind of like rain the heavy pouring rain that you can hear in the background and I was gonna say that the drum kit sounds a little high in the mix like it's a little loud but that actually kind of works uh, 
with the sort of rain theme and the element that they started with, it sounds like thunder. When he got going quickly, it sounded like a storm. But, <clears throat> excuse me, the chord choices are also awesome. Like, a, it, it sounds dark and dour, but it also sounds a little jazzy. And, like, so far, everything about this is awesome. The previous song, The Wild Hunt, was very subdued. Um, there was distortion, but this obviously has picked up in speed a lot. And I enjoy this a lot. The other one was more, like, uh, trance-like, atmospheric. This one got more speed and actually has more of a like an entertaining song quality to it. So I let me rewind this just a bit since it got into a slower portion again. And go.
gonna give it a quick pause since it looks like it's transitioning to another riff or another portion of the song this last like minute or so is like my shit i love this so so much the sort of chromatic um riff that was happening that dun 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 like just building up and ramping up slowly like bringing up that crescendo that you want and you got that double bass with the uh snare on the four they were doing a lot of blast beats earlier which i know is part of the style but that's something that i'm usually not a big fan of uh i'm not noticing it too too much or it's not taking me too much out of the song in this case um just because like i said earlier the drums are mic'd pretty loud already so like i was already kind of like used to the sound in the uh, headphones so the blast beats didn't bother me as much as far as his vocals go the quality of his voice is excellent like i'm not making out the words just because of the the mix and it's also live but like just the the growl that he has and just where it's coming from like it sounds so so good with the rest of the instrumentation ah let me rewind this just a smidge
Whew. I didn't want to pause it, but I was getting too many chills. <laughs> that um, yeah. Like I, I I have to pause it a certain number of times for copyright, just because of the length of the video. I didn't want to stop it. Uh, this has sort of like a '70s rock slash psychedelic sound to it. This last portion. Um, this last like two, two and a half minutes, I think. Um, and then the solo that he did, it started sounding a little bit like, and I know this is a bad comparison, I think, but it sounded like Metallica fade to black, that solo, just a smidge. But, um, yeah, yeah, this is like a nice old school rock riff with like a great, great seventies vibe kind of solo into it. And then, like, the guitar work this whole time has been awesome. I like the dissonant chords and uh, medleys that have been played so far. Or melodies, excuse me. Uh, let's rewind this a smidge. Good, man, 12, 13 seconds. Go. <laughs> awesome you gotta love a song when at the end of it they yell out hail satan <laughs> and from the um the request for this that i got these guys are actually like full like full-on satanist which awesome i got no problem with that um this had a bunch of different sections like throughout it uh, it's it started off with like the intro part more atmospheric and slow then it got into the uh, just the blast beat snare section which was repeated throughout it had slower ingresses and then I think that last like three to four minutes it just evolved into almost a completely different song a different kind of feel but like all throughout it did have that sort of dark um, menacing kind of sound to it. A lot of it had to do with the guitar work, the uh, dissonant and like uh, minor chords and like jazzy chords that were interspersed 
that just brought everything kind of down a little bit as far as like uh, the, the theme and the feel. And this was definitely a lot different and a lot more complex than the Wild Hunt. Uh, that one was another long song, but the the way it was subdued and everything kind of sounded like it fit together exactly right. This one had more, not a chaotic feel, because everything still did fit together. Uh, the sections were just different enough that the evolution of the song uh, and the continuation of the song actually sounded like uh, different from before, but also part of a whole. If if that makes sense, I I don't know. I'm kind of like reaching for things to say because I just like really enjoyed this a lot. And this is only the second song by them that I've heard, but they are quickly becoming like one of one of my favorites. Yeah, I really, really like them. Like everything about the presentation, like the candles in the back. I think in the first one, they actually did do like a blood ritual or something, or the lead singer did anyway. It was like a little altar in front of the drum kit. And yeah, presentation, uh, lyrics, I don't know, just because I couldn't uh, decipher what he was saying. Uh, both because of the mix, but also because I wasn't paying too much attention to the lyrics. I usually don't first time around. Um, guitar work was awesome. Uh, nice chunky riffs, but then also the melodic um, off-kilter stuff with the minor chords, minor notes. And yeah, D drum work was excellent. Excellent, excellent. Like the, the blast beats, I don't care for too much, but... His double bass game was awesome. He went into some nice grooves. The patterns he was going to in the end were more straightforward, but it fit with the vibe of the song. I had another suggestion to do um, from Joaquin, so I'll probably do that one the next time, so like in another week or two. But after that, I might start speeding up and doing them every week just because I'm enjoying them so, so much. And like I said, I think they're becoming one of my favorite bands.